not mistaken. Uh, with regards um, an aspect raised by the Honorable Manye, um, Chair, the IDEC is not investigating the Palapala matter. I cannot answer for why there might not have been a response from another investigative agency. Uh, with regards the issue on the Gupta extradition chair, um, I would just like to um, indicate that even before we submitted our application, there had been extensive engagement between the National Prosecuting Authority and the Central Authority of the UAE. And this chair was done in order to ensure that given the enormity of the application, that we were following our treaty and all the processes and procedures that that central authority might require. After those extensive engagements, and after they had in fact perused our papers, our application was sent through the formal channels. We were only informed on the 6th of April that the extradition was not successful. In fact, um, the Director General of the Department of Justice, um, Advocate Mashabane, did write on the 4th of May to the uh, Central Authority in the UAE asking a whole lot of questions. One, why were we only informed on the 6th of April, whereas in fact a court had found um, that the Gupta should not be extradited on the 13th of February? Um, the uh, DG also then raised in that note verbal chair, uh, what were the reasons for uh, the extradition failing? And that if in fact, the, 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 as we had read, the warrants were said to be invalid, um, we asked two questions, or, or at least we asked one main question. We asked if our warrants, valid warrants, not cancel warrants, were in fact presented to the courts that were making the decision on the extradition. And in order to ensure that they understood what it is we were referring to, Honorable Chair, we again, to that note verbal, attached the warrants which were attached as part of the extradition application. Um, of course, other issues were raised. Uh, there was a visit by the um, then uh, Minister of Justice, um, Minister Lamola, on the, on the 5th of June, 2023. We had a virtual meeting then again with the Central Authority uh, led by Judge al uh from the UAE together with NPA and Department of Justice counterparts on the 15th of June, 2023, where we again raised all of the issues. Um, about the warrants, the findings by the court, what were the findings, what was presented to the court, how many court appearances were there. We also raised issues of if they are not being extradited, as you say, you have concurrent jurisdiction on money laundering. Kindly indicate to South Africa whether or not you're going to be charging the Guptas with the money laundering so that when we have to resubmit our application after we hear what the legal issues were, we would know what we're going to continue charging them with and what the UAE is going to charge them with. Nothing has been forthcoming. And since the 15th of June, um, Honorable Chair um, and members, there have been several note verbals sent to the UAE uh, through the Department of Justice, the Central Authority, and we are none the wiser, um, Honorable Chair. Uh, on the aspects that have been raised by the honorable members and those that I have alluded to. The one other aspect, if I may then very quickly deal with chair, there have been questions by various members and I do apologize if I uh, didn't note every name down, but um, I think more than one member raised the issue of the Zonda database access. Honorable chair, we did present ourselves to you um, and the members on the uh, 10th of September, 2024. Um, the IDEC then had engagements with the Department of Justice, as well as the residual mechanism officials led by Prof Mosala and, um, and the rest of the team. We did engage on two separate occasions. Uh, we then also wrote to the minister, uh, or at least, sorry, my apologies, we wrote to the uh, Director General of Justice that there were certain aspects that were raised in parliament on which we sought clarity before we can then chart the way forward, especially issues that uh, related to uh, legality. We await the response of the DG and DG has um, 
I think the date of return is the middle of October, which is then by the 15th, and then we follow up. Uh, and then in the interim, uh, the head of investigations, Mr. Sosoko, continues to engage with Prof. Mosala. We have provided them again with the list of the documents, <clears throat> um, a list of the documents that uh, are still outstanding because we have alluded that there were requests that were outstanding. And uh, Chair, they are in the process of ensuring that all outstanding requests are dealt with. And then we have charted a way forward, which we um, are not going to discuss on the platform, but uh, once we receive the response from the Director General of Justice on the legal issues and other aspects raised, uh, we would be able to propose the best way forward. So as it stands, Chair, uh, we have attempted to resolve as best we can, and we will continue to um, embark on that exercise as it is in all our interests. So, um, we, we're doing that as amicably as possible. Um, NDPP, um, thank you. I don't know if there were any other aspects that I ought to have dealt with.